Sanchez and in this video I'm gonna show you how to do this makeup uh, it's like a very warm eyeshadow and a violet vibrant lipstick I hope you guys like this video okay so I'm gonna start with primer for the eyeshadows I'm using primer poison by Urban Decay and I'm gonna put it all over the lid the primer is gonna help the eyeshadow uh, to look better it's gonna make it last longer and it's gonna prevent it from creasing now I'm gonna use this palette Maya Mia from Anastasia and it has like these beautiful colors and the color that I'm gonna be using now is this caramel color and I'm gonna put it on the crease of my eye and as you can see I'm gonna start like extending it out to make my eyes look larger and longer and more sexy and of course we're gonna do the same in the other eye now I'm gonna use Sienna, it's like this warm brown orange and I'm gonna put it, tapping it with a small brush in the outer corner of the eye and then with the same fluffy brush, the blending brush that I used first, I'm gonna start blending this color with the crease that I just created. Go ahead and do the same thing in the other eye. And the third color that we're gonna add is Glisten. It's this like rosy, shimmery eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna tap it on my eyelids to pack it there. For my skin, I'm gonna start using this foundation. It's called Bare Skin by Bare Minerals, and I'm just gonna put some product under my eyes, on my cheekbones, and I'm gonna start blending it. I like to wet my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus by MAC. And then I'm going to start blending it doing tapping motions. These tapping motions are going to help us to create more coverage. So just go ahead and blend all the product in your face. Don't forget to blend around your hairline. I'm going to sing here. And don't forget to blend the product down your neck. Now I'm going to use this eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. It's my favorite eyeliner because it's super inexpensive and it's it dries like matte and it's, I don't know, it's like a real black color, it's not like grayish. I just extend like a wing, like a line, and then I, I create like a triangle to connect the line with the rest of my, of my eyes, of my eyelashes. Then I create like a line on top of my eyelashes, on my lash line, and you can do it like as, as thick or as slim, as thin as you want it. It's like your choice. Then go ahead and do the same thing, trying to match the eyeliner on the other eye. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use this pomade from Anastasia in the color Ebony. I'm going to brush my uh, little hair so they stay in place. And now I'm going to start filling my eyebrows. I like to use like a soft brush to fill them in with a little bit of product. And then I like to switch for a more like harsh brush, a smaller brush and that is going to help me to define like under my eyebrows on top of my eyebrows and it's going to help me also to extend a little bit the tail of the eyebrow once i'm done with my eyes or like with this part of the eyes i like to apply my concealer and the concealer that i'm using is from mac in the color nc15 and as you can see i just like to tap it also to give more coverage and I just apply it under my eyes and I blend it downwards as you can see like the difference with the other eye is like I am adding light to the eye I'm making my cheekbones look higher and I'm also getting rid of those dark circles that we hate okay now I'm gonna set this foundation and the concealer that I use I'm using this palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm gonna use the white powder I'm gonna tap the powder under my eyes and on the rest of my face and the reason why I tap the powder is because I want the, the powder to grab like super well to my foundation now I'm gonna use the same palette in the darker color to make the contours of my face so I'm gonna start like making like a horrible line under my cheekbones and then I'm gonna start blending it upwards don't blend it down because it's gonna look weird so it's better if you do it this way don't forget that you can also contour under your jawline to uh, make like a separation between your face and your neck because sometimes it looks like one same thing. And you can do also uh, on your nose to make it look like slimmer and a little bit more pointy. And you can use a smaller brush but I was too lazy to change my brush. 
So let's do the last touches for my eyes. I'm gonna apply the same uh, like caramel eyeshadow under my lash lines, my bottom lashes. And I'm just gonna run it down my, my bottom lashes. Like so. Gonna do the same thing in the other eye, of course. Unless you wanna look weird. And now for the mascara, I'm using this mascara by MAC that has two caps. And I'm gonna open the first one. And as you can see, like, is, uh, I don't know, like, very little product that comes out in the brush. And this is gonna help to give, like, a very nice look to the eyelashes. They're gonna look, like, very separate. Uh, no clumps, nothing of, of that that we hate. And I'm just gonna give, like, one or two coats. I'm doing, like, this weird exorcist weird position and I'm just applying it to my lashes and once that's dry I'm gonna open the same the same not the second thing the second cap and I'm gonna apply it on my lashes you can see like the brush has a lot more product than the first the first time that I did it and this is gonna give us a lot more volume than the first brush now I'm gonna do the blush and this is like a very warm color, I'm using the same BH Cosmetics palette and I'm just gonna apply it on my cheekbones and I'm, we're gonna go like with this famous product from MAC it's called Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Soft and Gentle and now for my lips I'm using this Apoca lipstick from Lunatic Cosmetics, it's a color like a violet color super 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 cute and it looks like super nice because it's vibrant it's like fresh and it looks very nice like with a very neutral eyes or very um i don't know very normal eyes okay so this was all the video it was super easy i hope you guys like it don't forget to like this video share subscribe and comment down below bye gracias por ver este video si quieren ver mi anterior video pueden dar click acá arriba si quieren ver mi canal completo y suscribirse que me haría muy feliz pueden darle click aquí abajo al botoncito rojo de YouTube y si quieren encontrarme en redes sociales las encuentran acá arriba está mi Twitter y mi Instagram que es el mismo y está mi Facebook en mi página les recomiendo que se suscriban a todo porque siempre hago concursos y pongo mini tutoriales en todas las redes sociales.